inspired me to work hard to try to get this job someday. Over. You know, the view from Space Station is almost indescribable because you're going over the planet uh, at, at a speed of 17,500 miles an hour around the planet every 90 minutes, so it's constantly changing. Over. You know, our speed is relative to the Earth, and we're traveling at uh, 17,500 miles an hour, or about five miles a second. Over. I'm going to tell you, this is a very common question, and of course people want to know how you live in space to include how to use the toilet. But we have, uh, the best way to describe it is we have what's like a vacuum hose, and then we have a big can that we put a liner inside that also has a, a vacuum to it, and that helps us uh, use the toilet in space. Over. Oh, Maxime, I think I was very excited. You know, uh, it's a combination of emotions, right? Because we're uh, we're trained to do our job, so we're very focused on trying to do the right thing and get our job done. Work over years to get to that point. It's a sense of satisfaction as well. Over. Hi, Bruno. Actually, we don't even shower in space. We think it's essentially a sponge bath, which means that we we wipe it on our skin and then we dry that off. Over. Hi, Luca. It's a very involved process. Uh, there's a European Space Agency and uh, NASA, which is a U.S. Space Agency, along with uh, uh, the Japanese, the Canadians, and the Russians. And in each case, they select people that are both operationally and technically competent and uh, do a very competitive process. Over. And Danielle, I keep in touch with my family with an internet protocol telephone, so it's an application on our laptop, and as long as we have uh, coverage through the satellites and our KU band, then we're able to talk with our family. And then once a week, we have a video conference. Over. I said, we're doing all kinds of research. We have over 200 experiments going on at any one time. Some of these experiments are designed to help us understand the effects of zero gravity on the human body, and some are basic research to help us understand basic scientific principles. And then uh, even further, we're uh, trying to understand the kind of hardware that we need to go further into space. Over. Alessio, the kind of training that we did involved uh, multiple countries and multiple pieces of hardware and operational scenarios. So as the left seat flyer in a Soyuz, I was trained to be the co-pilot in the Soyuz, which meant I spent about half of my time in Russia. And the other time at the other agencies, but primarily in the United States, learning how to operate the systems in the, on the ISS, and also to react to emergency situations. Over. Hi, Simon. I have not counted the days uh, specifically, but uh, it's a little bit over two months. We launched on the 15th of December, and uh, we're the 56th day right now, so I guess around 71 or 72 days in space this time. Over. We know the activities I prefer on the space station in terms of work are the ones where there's a project that is uh, very involved and takes uh, a lot of operations and coordination with people on the ground. So I've worked with a combustion experiment and ultrasound experiments, and so I enjoy those kinds of activities. Over. It was my pleasure to talk with all of you today. What smart questions, and I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye for the International Space Station. Ciao.